Hey, what's up everybody, it's Alfaro here, and today I'm going to show you how to play the monster in Evolve Stage 2. Now I'm going to show you step by step on what I do and gameplay and everything and all the tips that I can give you so that you can get to that Stage 3 and wipe out the enemy team. Now there's two important things you need to know that the hunters have that can really do damage to you as a monster. The first is the dome. Now back in the original Evolve, only the trapper had the dome and the trapper was able to miss this dome. Now in stage two, every hunter has the dome and that dome barely misses. I never seen anyone miss a dome in Evolve Stage 2. If you have, let me know, but I have never seen one miss. Now, another thing you need to know is that the dome is 50 meters and it takes 80 seconds to recharge and it lasts five minutes. Now, to decrease that five minute timer on the dome as a monster, there's two ways. The first way is if the monster encaps a hunter, the timer decreases by 3.5 minutes, which is 210 seconds. Now that's each in cap. Another thing you need to know is that the hunters can decrease the timer. If they deal damage to the monster, the timer is reduced by 60 seconds. Now stage one, 60 seconds for every 4% health. Stage two, 60 seconds for every 6.5% health. And stage three, 60 seconds for every 8.5% health. Now the second thing that the hunters have that is really important is the planet scan. Now, the trappers no longer have an individual dome to throw, you know, because everybody has that. They have the planet scan, which gives them a speed boost, and it shows the general direction of where the monster is on their little compass below of the screen. The planet scan can also highlight the monster if you're close by the hunters, and that is really OP because now they have your direction, they have a speed boost, and they have where you're at physically if they can see you through walls if you're close by. So before you even get into the match, you need to know which monster you wanna play as, and it all depends on your play style. If you like to be in the hunter's faces and doing melee damage and attack them up close and personal i suggest you use the goliath the meteor goliath the behemoth and the glacial behemoth now if you want ranged attacks and you want to be far away from the hunters and hitting them from a distance i suggest you use the kraken and the elder kraken now if you want to be sneaky and you know do high dps but your monster is very squishy on health then i suggest you use the wraith and the Gorgon. I'll be making videos for each monster on how to use them, which abilities to pick, and which perks to pick, so that you can get from stage one to stage three and get that W. So stay tuned to the channel, make sure to subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. Now let's talk about your ability points and how to spend them. So when you're stage one, you can spend four ability points. When you're stage two, you can spend three. And when you're stage three, you can spend two points. So that is a total of nine points. Every time you go up a stage, you gain health. Now when you hit stage three and hunt, you could either destroy the power relay or kill all the hunters to win the game. Now the next step as a monster is to select your perks. You have three categories, minor, major, superior. Now, minor is basically, you know, a small upgrade to your monster, really not going to do much. Major is a medium upgrade. You'll see a little bit of a difference, but it's definitely better than minor. And then superior is obviously the best one. And all the perks in there do a significant amount of upgrade towards your monster. So instead of, you know, 10% move speed, you'll get 20 something percent move speed. For example, I'm gonna choose haste, 12% on minor. Major, if I look for mutated haste, 17%. Now, if I go to superior and I'm looking for haste again, 23%. So obviously with minor, you get like 10%, but with superior, you get 23%. You can upgrade your perks two ways. The first is to upgrade them with silver keys. You earn silver keys by completing challenges and matches. The second way is by receiving rewards for leveling up your profile. Now, one key thing to note is that when you pick perks, you can upgrade as many as you want because currently, you know, it's like you have unlimited keys when it comes to purchasing perks. That's a bug right now, so just take advantage of that. All right, let's get it. This is arena mode behemoth versus four hunters and these are real players i'm going against let's get it so i start out at stage two i'm gonna kill these monsters here so that i can have armor to come to if i lose mine i know they're up there they're setting up up there i'm gonna see if i can snatch this guy Do 
So you put a trap down there. Your goal, you want to get the... The medic. But... Those, that's the hardest one to get, honestly. See, I'm going after this guy. He got away right there. He got lucky. He's trying to heal himself. See, I already got one down. So I want to block him away from his teammates. Get him killed real quick. As much as I can, really. He's dead. And I'm going to go back to that armor that I remember I killed in the beginning. Get a little bit of that. I really want to separate them. And I should eat his body that I killed earlier and put up a wall so that I could eat. Get a little bit of armor. All armor is good armor. Now I'm going to start focusing. Let me get out the way. Daisy's almost dead. So I'm gonna start focusing this guy. I'm gonna kill Daisy so she could be out the way. Poor little Daisy. <laughs> I'm killing her right now. Yeah, she's dead. Alright, next I'm going for this healer. Healer's taking a lot of damage. I gotta keep pressure on the healer because she is the one that's carrying them. I'm gonna get her. All right, she's down, down and out. And anyone that wants to pick her up is gonna go down. I gotta make sure she dies. All right, she's dead. Now it's up to these two. Now the next one is a support. Or honestly, this this assault is gonna die. He's dead. There you go. That's round one. Monster wins. All right, here we go. Battle two. Ready. Fight. I did some early damage right there. See, I'm doing damage over time right there. I think I'm down in the the trapper already. Let me get this guy. He's running. <laughs> There you go, I'll get my little session. Already down. Uh, 
Put up this wall. I got my little session with this one. Trapper's dead. Daisy's gonna go down. They're getting hurt a lot right there. He should have got hit right there. Not gonna lie. See, I use that wall to my advantage. I'm gonna yank this guy out of there. I just separated them right there. She can't escape. I don't care if they revive the other dude. Because I got the healer. The healer is the number one person you want to get. In all honesty. I'm gonna guard this body. Now she's dead. He's dead. And next is the support. If I kill him with that. Oh, almost. Y'all saw what I was trying to do there. Yeah, it's pretty much a GG. And there you go. Get that monster W in arena. Easy. Pretty much the concept is the same. You try to kill one of them. And if you do end up killing one of them, then you go for the healer. But most of the time, the healer is always protected. So you got to go for who you can get. And after a while, the healer will start, you know, to separate themselves. That's when you take advantage. But you just got to get them one by one. And you got to be patient. But overall, that's how you play monster in arena. So now we're playing hunt as the monster. So right in the beginning, you want to get away from this area, no matter what. You just want to get away. You don't want to sneak. You don't want to do nothing. Just get away. Make sure you smell along the way so you don't disturb any birds. But just get away as far as possible. Make sure you hug your corners, too. Dude, the ship already landed. I'm gonna go over here. Use your map too. Your map is very important when you're playing monster. Especially when you play hunt. So they just landed. I know that because the UI on the top left popped up. See, they already know where I'm at because I'm pretty sure they did the scanner thing. Yep, tracked by scanner. They already know where I'm at. So you got to be quick. See, he already is here. So I got to do damage to him fast so this so this thing can come down. Because he's here by himself. See what I'm saying? So in order for that dome to come down... Got to be able to juke. Make sure you should hit the high poon. Sometimes it's a little buggy, I'm not gonna lie. Hitting them the most. So 
See, I got high ground right now. I want them to come up here so I can just explode. I'm gonna go for the medic as fast as possible. I might even take her down, to be honest. Alright, the dome went down, but I'm gonna leave a decoy here to fight them. While I run. This guy's on me. They're all on me. It's the problem. It's harder to play monster, 100%. I'm going to try to lead them into this guy. I need to eat, though. 100%. You see, I'm using my abilities to get away. They're fighting my, uh... My phantom right now. Oh, this guy's right here. They know where I'm at. Oh, that sneak got him. He's by himself, so this is good. He's about to go down. He's about to go down. I have to take advantage of this because they have dome in 18 seconds. I have to take advantage of this. He's just getting healed like crazy. Got him. Try to get away. They got their dome ready though. Hundred percent. Trying to corner me. See if I could get this guy by sneaking. Alright. Now I'm gonna go for the the medic. Cause the medic has a strike. I'm about to down the medic. Now hopefully I could kill the medic. Medic's dead. This is good. If I could get the assault down, I think I just should just kill this team. Yeah, a hundred percent. But in order to make this gameplay smooth, I gotta get out of here. So that I could get to stage three. Because that's the point of this whole thing is getting to stage three. This Parnell is on me like white on rice. It's kind of annoying, but his jetpack is probably good. 
Let's see, you're scanning me. I'm gonna hit to this corner. And I'm gonna evolve. They're fighting my phantom, you see? Alright, so we're going with this. And we're good. They have the dome in 20, about 20 seconds. See, they know where I'm at with that scan. As soon as you see that thing that says marked by planet scan, you know, you might as well just run because they know where you're at. All right, let me eat up. So a hunter got downed, which is good for me. But their dome is ready. So you see this? This is a buff. You pick these up and you get a buff for your monster. Ability cooldowns are 15% faster. Alright. They're probably waiting. They waited for whoever died. That's why they stopped chasing me. I got a long way. For stage 3. And I got 3 minutes to hit it. That was my mistake with the birds. It's funny because this team was on me and now they're like backing up. Somebody else might have died. Oh, you know what? Somebody else did die. 100%. I'm surprised they haven't through the dome yet. They know where I'm at. They scanned me twice. But they're waiting for whoever just spawned. I got two minutes to hit to stage three. I'm about to kill whoever this is. Kill the medic. You know what? Let me evolve to stage three, because that's the point of this. I'll let them get that revive off. Personally, I would have went for the kill, but for the purpose of this video, we're getting to stage three. So I have a choice to either kill the hunters or take out the generator. I'm going to kill these hunters.
They're all two ticks. I got definitely could win this. Oh, he's so lucky. They're running away from me now. That's the funny part. He's dead. <laughs> I'm gonna go for this trick. Dead. We going hunting. See, I see their tracks. Now I'm do. I'm hunting the hunters. That's the funny part. Oh, he lucky. You ain't hiding from me, buddy. And that's a GG. That's how you play monster on hunt. Overall, I showed you what you need to know before you play the monster and what you need to do when you play the monster. I gave you two gameplay examples, hunt and arena mode, and I hope you enjoyed it both. And let me know in the comments section below which monster you like to play. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. This is Alfaro signing out.